Salmonella. What is it? Salmonella is an extremely common type of bacteria. These rod-shaped organisms can be found in both cold-blooded and warm-blooded animals across the world. They are also one of the most common causes of sickness in human beings. Salmonella poisoning can infect people in one of two ways. It is most often spread from animals to people through the food supply. This is how the bacteria can cause the nauseating disease gastroenteritis. Typhoid causing salmonella, however, is usually spread from person to person. In this article, you will learn all about salmonella. You'll find out how it can make you sick, how the bacteria are fighting back against antibiotic medicine and what we can do about it, how to keep your grub safe from these illness-causing organisms, and even what happens when salmonella grows in space. Symptoms of Salmonella Poisoning Salmonella symptoms vary depending on the type of salmonella that has caused the infection. Most salmonella infections lead to problems with digestion known as gastroenteritis. Though some strains of the bacteria can cause typhoid fever. For most infected people, symptoms develop from 12 hours to 3 days after eating food containing the bacteria. Symptoms often include abdominal cramps, diarrhea, and fever. These symptoms usually disappear after 2 to 7 days though returning to normal bathroom habits can take several months. However, in a few rare cases, salmonella infections can lead to long-term joint pain known as reactive arthritis, which can over time develop into chronic arthritis. Salmonella Outbreaks and Serotypes Not all salmonella bacteria are the same. In fact there are more than 2,500 types of salmonella. Each type is identified and labeled as a different serotype. Some of these serotypes will only infect one particular animal, or only exist in one specific place. Of these, less than 100 are responsible for the majority of human infections. Knowing the serotype of a given organism is important for scientists who want to observe and control the spread of outbreaks. Since the 1960s, the U.S. government has paid researchers to discover outbreaks of salmonella with the hope of tracking the source of the infection. Depending on the serotype, a salmonella outbreak could be mild or extremely severe. Important Salmonella Serotypes The scientists who watch for salmonella outbreaks are concerned about three specific groups of serotypes. These three groups are responsible for sickening millions of people across the world each year, and some of those illnesses result in death. Non-typhoidal, S. typhimurium and S. enteritides. Non-typhoidal salmonella are the serotypes that sicken the most people. As the name suggests, these bacteria do not cause typhoid fever. Instead, they lead to diarrhea and related symptoms. Of all the varieties of non-typhoidal salmonella, there are two that are responsible for half of all human infections in the United States, S. typhimurium and S. enteritides. S. typhimurium is usually caused by food from animals. S. enteritides is usually caused by infected eggs and poultry. Every year in the United States, non-typhoidal salmonella sickens an estimated 1.2 million people. Of these, 23,000 are admitted to the hospital and 450 die. Typhoidal Typhoidal salmonella typhi infections cause typhoid fever. Someone with typhoid fever will need to take antibiotics. It is important to take the full round of antibiotics and not stop just because you begin to feel better. This disease is notorious for being passed to others after a person's symptoms decline. We will describe the symptoms and treatment for typhoid more completely later in this article. How many people does Salmonella sicken? Foodborne diseases as a whole infect 550 million people each year. According to the German government, Salmonella infections account for about 90% of foodborne infections in recent years. The CDC estimates that approximately 1.2 million illnesses occur due to non- 
Typhoidal Salmonella per year in the U.S. Who is most at risk of salmonella poisoning? According to the World Health Organization, most cases of salmonella infection are mild. However there are three groups of people who need to be particularly careful. These are the elderly, young children, and anyone whose immune system is weakened, either due to HIV slash AIDS, cancer treatment, or some other cause. Salmonella treatment. Salmonellosis symptoms range from mild to severe, and treatments should be dictated accordingly. For those with mild symptoms, the WHO recommends no antibiotic treatment, as these bacteria are becoming increasingly resistant to these drugs, and administering them for every patient is likely to lead to further resistance. However, anyone in a particularly vulnerable group, including infants and those older than 65 years old, should receive antibacterial medications. That's also true for anyone whose infection has spread beyond the digestive system. Can Salmonella resist antibiotics? Antibacterial resistance is a real and growing problem when it comes to this infectious bacterium. For non-typhoidal serotypes, about 5% are resistant to 5 or more drugs as of 2011. About 2 out of every 3 typhoidal serotypes show some level of resistance to ciprofloxacin in the United States. Typhoidal serotypes show resistance to other common antimicrobial drugs in other parts of the world, according to the CDC. Antibacterial soap, what is the harm? You may reach for antibacterial soap to keep your family safe from harm. Killing more bacteria has got to keep them safer, right? Not necessarily, according to the Food and Drug Administration. The FDA says there is no evidence washing up with plain soap and water is any less effective at preventing illness. What s more, studies have shown that using these antiseptic soaps can kill off certain bacteria, but they leave other bacteria alone. By doing so, they may be contributing to the rise of so-called superbugs, comma, which are more resistant to antibiotics and more potentially damaging to human health. So while our first instinct may be to use antimicrobial soaps for better health, in the long run these soaps may be causing more harm than good. Typhoid fever. Compared to gastroenteritis from salmonella poisoning, typhoid fever is very rare. About 5,700 cases occur in the United States every year, and about 75% of those are contracted overseas. Compare that with more than 1 million sickened in the U.S. by non typhoidal salmonella bacteria. In developing regions, typhoid fever remains a serious and relatively common disease. Worldwide about 21.5 million people are afflicted with it each year, resulting in 200,000 deaths. Each year another 2 million people worldwide are estimated to contract the related disease paratyphoid fever. Salmonella food poisoning. Salmonella infections are usually caused by food poisoning. In fact, about 95% of infections come from the foods we eat. Animal products such as beef, pork, chicken, milk, and eggs are particularly susceptible, but vegetables can also harbor the disease. To preventing food poisoning, every point in the food chain needs to be carefully controlled. Harvesting, butchering, processing, and preparation should all involve proper hygiene to ensure safety. The WHO provides the following five points for food handlers both at home and in restaurants to prevent infection. Keep food clean. Cook meats and vegetables completely and thoroughly. Maintain ingredients at safe temperatures. Keep raw and cooked items separate in the refrigerator and elsewhere. Make sure your water and materials are clean and safe. 